was a Damon Runyon type character. He smoked a big cigar. If when, every time President Trump throws a tantrum and demands he get his way unless the government will be shut down, it will create disaster. It will encourage his worst instincts, which are bad enough now. In March, we have the debt ceiling coming up. People, we, you know, people go along with this, you know, nasty way of governing. Imagine what will happen when the debt ceiling occurs. Imagine what will happen when the March budget occurs. The government will unravel further than it has. At the giants and the giant games uh, back in the days when they didn't win anything. If you allow this to prevail, it will create greater chaos in the future, not reduced chaos. 28th Street, where the cabbies hung out, I was a young assemblyman. This is not the way to govern. To pound your fist on the table and cause damage to millions of people unless I get my way. It's not what the Constitution says. You know, elections have some consequences. The president couldn't pass his wall when the Republicans controlled the House and the Senate because they knew it was a bad idea. And now, he's creating a shutdown, even though elections, in the election, he certainly was repudiated in the House and doesn't control it anymore. Wisdom. So he was great. Now his wife... We need to get over this shutdown and saner heads must prevail. We cannot allow the president to punish innocent Americans or to have temper tantrums and govern as if there is no Congress. If our democracy is going to continue to go forward and thrive. Very tough cookie. Very, very tough. So this idea that they need five billion, five seven, which they haven't even sent us a plan for, until yesterday, we're looking at it now, um, is unrealistic. But maybe worst of all, certainly tie on my list, it's a terrible symbol. And symbols matter. I think most New Yorkers and most Americans agree with me. We want the symbol of America to stay as the Statue of Liberty, not a big concrete wall.